Now that you've had some time to practice drawing different kinds of leaves, you're gonna get a piece of paper like this, put your name on the back and your class code, and you're gonna use the leaves for observation and you can pick and choose which ones you wanna do. We need to crop leaves off, overlap some, and balance your composition or balance your paper. You don't want too many leaves where it gets crowded and you don't want to have just one. We want a balanced composition. I'm gonna to choose to start with the easier oval type leaf. I'm doing the, do the shape first. And then I'm gonna make the stem and the veins alternate on these oval leaves. And they angle up. Okay, now, beautiful little leaf. Now, did I crop this off? Did I have anything overlapping? And it's certainly not balanced because it's only one leaf. So I gotta work on my composition elements. Maybe I'll take this leaf, hmm. I'm gonna twist the paper so it looks like these leaves just fall onto the paper. I'm gonna start with the um, veins first. So little at the bottom and then two bigger ones. And then the two small top ones you don't see, they're cropped off and bump around. Okay, there, I've got one leaf cropped off the paper. All right, now let's see. I could try overlapping or I could crop something else. Yeah, I'm gonna go with overlapping and maybe not the maple leaf. Maybe I'll do another more simple oval leaf and I'm gonna put it behind this oak leaf. So maybe this way. So I'm gonna start with the oval and it would continue right here. Add the stem and then add the veins. Alternating veins. There we go. All right, I've got my overlapping and I've got my cropped leaf. Now I gotta work on balancing my composition, balancing my paper. I'm starting with the vein of this maple leaf. And this one just has the three triangles around it. So I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, squiggle to make my three triangles. All right, this one is also cropped. Excellent. Now I'm looking at the composition and I'm looking for big empty spaces. I could put a leaf behind here, maybe. An oak leaf. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the vein. And maybe I'll go off the paper. So two little ones on top, two big ones in the middle, and two little ones that you can't see. Add my stem. So I'm gonna bump around that one, bump. Got it cropped off the paper and overlapped by the other leaf, perfect. Now I'm looking at the composition. If there's too much, I'm trying to balance it. So if there's too much empty space, then it needs a leaf. This looks pretty balanced to me. I could be a little picky and say that this corner is a little bit empty and so is this one. So instead of adding a whole leaf, I'm just gonna do a little tiny tip of a leaf. So it's not so big and crowded. And also, but having some empty negative space also feels good. So that's okay. All right, once your composition is done, you can pick a crayon color, any color, doesn't matter. I'm gonna do orange. And trace over your pencil. We are preparing this paper for painting next time.
hope you have fun creating a leaf composition. <laughs>